I just printed a ton of one-sided uh, filament guides for my Prusa Mark III S's on my Mark IV. I'm gonna show you why. All right, so this is the first time I'm shooting a video like this, so if it sounds off, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I wanted to show you the new uh, filament guide that came with the Prusa Mark IV. This is another print of it in white, just to show what it looks like, because I have the actual filament guide over on my Mark IV in my printer room, my other printer room, and I wanted to show what it looks like. So why, why do we need this? Here's the problem when not using a filament guide, and even one that's a little lower, is if you have a full spool, and this was just a demonstration of what happens, it pops off over the edge of the spool and can get tangled like this, and when your extruder's trying to pull it, it can't, and you've got a failed print. And I've certainly used other filament guides in the past. Actually, all of my Mark III S's, for instance, have this filament guide on it, and this was an attempt to just keep it in place, but it didn't really work. As you can see in that previous video, it's still tangled up. I've also used a filament guide kind of like this with a spool holder on it as well, just for fun when I didn't have enough space to load the spool above the printer. Uh, since I do have enough space now, uh, I haven't been using that, but I haven't really had a filament guide that really kept it on the spool as I needed until today, well, until now. I printed all mine without a filament or without uh, thinking about getting a PTFE tube. I don't know that I really am going to need a PTFE tube because filament goes through just fine. I've been using this for instance for you know a few years I think, I don't know, a year, and I haven't had any problems with filament. Sure it'll definitely slide better through PTFE, but I'm not sure it's 100% needed. So this new filament uh, guide works by clipping on to the front of the filament spool holder and it kind of has this little area right here that kind of clips on right there and keeps it uh, really close to the filament spool. So you've got your spool of filament on there. It's really close to the part where basically it comes off of the spool. And that's the, that's the thing is when it starts coming off right here, that's when, when you have a full roll, it wants to jump off the side of any spool of filament. It doesn't matter what kind, it does that, even with prusament. And so this is holding it, it's grabbing it right as it comes off and making sure to keep it in line. And as you can see, you can use this little thing to hold it in what they call standby, where basically you don't have to put the filament back on these little, these little, uh, I don't know, eyelets, I guess, slots on the filament spool. You can actually just do this. That's actually a lot easier to keep it uh, in standby just on the printer. To install your own uh, filament guide, you're gonna need uh, M3 by 18 screw, as well as two M3 by 10s, and then three of these M3 in nuts. And those spare parts probably came with your uh, Mark III S, uh, so you should be able to find them in that little baggie of spare parts. You could also pick up something like this, which is just a big pack of M3 uh, screws and nuts. Now these M3 by 10 nuts are just for holding the PTFE in. So if you're not using PTFE tubing in there, you don't need these. To set this up and get it installed on your spool mount, you certainly will need a spool mount, the Prusa spool mount. And then you're gonna take your M3 by 18 nut and put it right in here, or your M3 by 18 screw, put it right in here, make sure it comes out the other side. And then you just assign, uh, assign, <laughs> just put it on your spool holder right there, the second from the top, I guess. So like, there's the top. I consider this the first slot and then the second one. Kind of clip it right on there. And then you're gonna wanna hold that screw in place. And I kind of like to push this nut in. And certainly you could do this the other way where you put the nut in first and then put the screw in just like that. And then you take your uh, Allen wrench and screw it in there. And what that's gonna do is of course, tighten it and hold it on to the spool holder. And I didn't push the nut in far enough. And sometimes I like to use my Allen wrench to push it in there. And then now it's gripping and just do it, you know, so that's tight enough. It's not gonna like come off <laughs> really if you do it tight enough, but that is the mechanism to hold it to your spool holder. Now I printed a bunch of these one-sided versions. I actually uh, found there's a remix on printables.com. Uh, another user went ahead and created one of these. I only found that of course, after I created my own, uh, but really it's just, you know, cut in half. Um, but I use these one-sided ones because as you can see, I've got filament drying boxes on most of my printers that are not in some sort of enclosure. And I use that dry box because I have a lot of humidity in the summer that I want to protect the filament from. I also have my TPUs in there all the time because they need to be really dry. All right, here's the one I want to replace for sure. To get this off, of course, I'm just gonna cut the filament, pull the spool off, and I'm gonna have to, 
you know, rewind this someday. I'll go ahead and take the old filament guide off and toss that in the trash. And then I'm gonna take this one off as well so that I can put the other piece on it. I was smart this time and actually inserted my nut first. So I'm gonna go ahead and just clip this onto there. And I've got my screw in there already and I'm just gonna hold that with my other finger and then screw that so that it's tight and it is on there. And I'm not gonna use a PTFE tube. This is actually printed in Prusa Mint Pet G, so I don't really need that, I don't feel like. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and attach it back onto the printer. There we go. And then my fresh full of, uh, spool of filament, I'm gonna put it through there and see it's grabbing it on right as it comes off the spool. And since I don't wanna load it right now, I'm just gonna put it in standby mode. Awesome. So I know that's a lot of talk about just a really simple filament guide, but it really is gonna make a huge difference because I've had a lot of failed prints when I use new spools just because of that tangling issue. And so if you don't wanna have this, I would highly recommend putting out one of these uh, filament guides for either your Mark IV or your Mark IIIs or your Mark 2.5s or whatever you got. If they're Prusa and they're not a mini, I would definitely print this out. So let me know what you think about this in the comments. Uh, let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of this stuff. I'm going to start talking about 3D printing a lot here on YouTube. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching and uh, 